Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Mafia Mama, a, a movie starring Tony Collette as a woman who inherits her, a mafia family from her uh, grandfather in Italy and becomes the boss of a family. Smash a like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 10 available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Um, I actually wrote a plot exactly like this in uh, The Fix, one of my comics. It was called Cheerleader Mafioso. And the premise is almost exactly the same. Uh, the premise in my script was that um, one of the female characters, uh, again, the Don's dying wish is that she lead the family and uh, because she's like a distant relative. And uh, but the way I made it more realistic was that he was going senile and the family uh, are fighting over who's going to actually control the family and they allow her to do it temporarily in order to facilitate the actual new boss, which they haven't decided yet. And then it turns all out to be a plan to just kill her and take over the family anyway. Which I, I assume they would head down a similar path because it's kind of the only way to do it. If you know anything about the mafia, first off, women don't take over. They're generally not made. Um, in very, very rare instances, they do accumulate power Usually they're the wives of powerful mafioso who either die. They're, they're so, the mafioso is so powerful, his wife obtains power and then that mafioso dies for some reason and she kind of steps into his shoes because she has to. It, 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 but it's usually very temporary um, for lots of reasons. For one thing, the women know that, oh, well, let the men go to jail. Why should I go to jail? Um so, Tony Collette, I've heard the name, but geez, I haven't seen her in anything in ages. Um, and uh, she's playing it very uh, light, uh, very sort of crazy, kind of like uh, single woman, like single woman in the modern age kind of thing. So, they're making jokes that are really like obvious jokes, like... They don't feel like natural dialogue in the beginning. I kind of want to like this premise, but at the same time, it's pretty un. I kind of kind of acknowledge in the back of my head, it's pretty unrealistic. I don't know if I could totally suspend my disbelief because I have a huge, vast library of knowledge about mafia tactics and stuff in my brain from researching my books. But so, so they make these jokes where like she's really in. You know, her girlfriend says, what do you, reminds her, what do you masturbate to? And she says, Italian cooking shows. So she's like really into Italian guys. And then there's another joke later in the trailer where she says, I can't have enough sex to, uh, uh, you know, keep from being stressed out about this. And then she does take over as the Mafia Don. Here she is being delivered a hand. And then later she goes to a meeting and she she bakes everybody muffins. So, kind of, I don't know. That particular joke doesn't really land for me because muffins seem too far out of whack. Here she is sort of stabbing a guy with a high heel. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why the Mafia Don would, you know, appoint her because she's so far removed from the family. At least in my case, they were the, the character was at least in America, <laughs> and that was an American, you know, Italian mobster who was going senile. I, you know, here I don't think he was going senile, but I, you know, it's going to be a bunch of jokes about being very girly and then running the mafia family, and uh, you know, it's from Bleecker Street, which tends to be a more low budget operation like second tier kind of movies no no shade but they're second tier movies the kind of movies that definitely are going to go uh video on demand uh also 2022 monica bellucci who i assume is the other hot chick i mean she looks good she looks good uh i 
God, I can't remember what I what else I saw her in. I mean, at least she's the lead. She's got good energy. It's a little too girly, the jokes. A little too unrealistic for me. But because I'm, you know, into the mafia stuff, I would be mildly interested to see if anybody, who, the people who wrote this, like, did an actual research and at least throw out some real mafia stuff in the mix so at least I can go, oh, okay, these guys weren't totally, totally clueless. The first act is going to be about her single life back in America and how she's at a gym with her best friend who's a heavyset black woman, I assume is a sassy black friend. And um, her grandfather dies in Italy and then she's going to Italy because she's really into Italian guys and her friend encourages her. And so she gets there and uh, she's attending the funeral and she's being a dopey American tourist and then uh, there's an assassination attempt and then they bring her back to the family estate and tell her you're the boss or they read his will or play the video and he basically makes her the boss second act everybody's up in arms how could she be the boss uh, you know I'm sure there's a character who was expecting to be the boss. And look, even when I wrote my comic book, I knew that this is not the way bosses usually pass power. I mean, they can. there's kind of no specific rule, but it's more of a like pirate ship kind of vote, but really the best guy tends to get the job the, or the most ruthless guy. So, I mean, again... It's not totally out of the realm of possibility, but it's highly, 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 highly unlikely. Um, and it would, it would, it wouldn't fly in in real life. It just wouldn't. They would probably just ignore him. Oh, he's crazy. We'll just pick somebody else. But okay, if I could suspend my disbelief long enough to get through the movie, maybe. And then the second act's all about her being a girly girl, and you know all the Italian guys saying, "What are we supposed to do, boss?" And, like, she tries to make some decisions, and at first she's a disaster, but then she finally takes it a little bit serious, and then maybe she makes some headway, or, I don't know, Monica Bellucci, whoever she is, I assume she's, like, the daughter, maybe gives her some pointers, and then, you know, or maybe at first she's enjoying all the money, but then the other families see a moment of weakness, and they try to move in. Anyhow... Eventually, there's a crisis, and she's got to step up and really be the boss, and she has to meet with boss. I mean, they're going to do every mafia bit. Every movie and mafia bit they're going to do. They're going to do the big meeting. They're going to do, uh, you know, her being a, a, an attempted assassination. Um, at some point, uh, there's going to be a climax in which she has to pull herself together and lead the family, and she does somehow. And she eventually leads them to victory, but in the end, I'm I'm guessing she goes back to her life in America, which would make the most sense. Like the way I ended it was, they basically just, you know, the whole thing was was a total farce. Uh, it was all a scam just to um, get it so another guy could take over the family, and then he's killed, and then the real leader, you know comes comes out of the woodwork and says no i i'm supposed to be the one leading the family and the and the character goes away so maybe something like that which would be the most realistic way to end it like this was a very temporary situation uh and then she goes back to her life and then you know um would it be good i, I don't think it's going to be good i mean i think it could be watchable you know, if your bar is pretty low for comedy, maybe. <laughs> Again, just like the previous comedy I looked at, I kind of want to like this. But at the same time, it's very similar to my comic book. So I feel like, uh, I feel I also feel competition at the same time a little bit. A little bit. Um, I do like Colette in the role. I think she's got good energy. It's a little too girly about the whole thing. But maybe what I did in my story was the, the, the girl who gets promoted to boss had three friends. And back in high school, they were all, they were, 
the story's called Cheerleader Mafioso because they were all cheerleaders. But they ran the school and they stole stuff and they, they did all sorts of crazy things like mafia guys do. So when she gets put in charge of the, 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 the mafia, they continue to do the same thing, only at a bigger scale. So it kind of works in that at least the characters were kind of sketchy to begin with. The problem with Tony Collette's character, I think, is she's not very criminal-minded. So it's a little too fish out of water. Like, it would kind of almost make sense if she was a little bit of a ruthless operator in one sort of area. So, like, let's say she was the most, I don't know, ruthless fashion designer in New York. Then you can almost see it, right? Like, uh, I've pointed you boss of the family because you are a ruthless fashion designer. I know you would be a ruthless boss. And she's like, no, I'm a fashion designer. Um, but in this, she's like, seems completely in over her head. But again, they may adopt the same sort of payout that it's like, well, it was never really meant to be in the begin with. This was a very temporary situation until the real boss could step up and take over or kill her or whatever. So, I mean, it's really tough to do a mafia comedy that's actually funny because the problem with it is Mafia stuff is already kind of funny uh, on its own in a sort of a dark way. And so to really do a parody of it, you really have to go higher. I think the only two movies which were kind of, well, the first one I'm thinking of is Easy Money, but that's not really Mafia. It's just a lot of Italians. Um, the one that's definitely an organized crime parody is Johnny Dangerously. And that one, to me, comes the closest of actually making a funny mafia movie. It's not quite a mafia movie. It's more like a bootleggers, old-time gangster parody. But it, it's pretty funny. Um, this looks... Eh, like, Johnny Dangerously is more like the airplane of crime movies. This is more... Like, to me, if you were going to do a comedy about the mafia you would have to do a straight up parody of the godfather like a huge parody of it like literally from beginning to end every moment of it and just do a total send up of the whole the whole uh the whole thing or do do a godfather parody that basically contained every major scene from one and two and completely ignore three <laughs> um but, yeah. Yeah, I I don't know. I mean, she's hot. There's that. So, you know, she's hot in sort of a MILF way. Yeah, a little older. But, uh, you know, I'm an older guy, so that's okay by me. Anyhow, um, would I watch it? Probably. On video on demand, I might watch it. If it was free, I'd probably at least check it out, see if it was tolerable. You know. See if I can get through the whole thing and not go, oh, this is too too stupid. Um, I wouldn't go to the movies for it, though. This is definitely a rental, as we say. Video on demand. Um, but I think it could be, you know, check your brain at the door kind of fun. You know, if it moves fast and doesn't... I mean, don't try to... Like, in a plot like this, you don't want to do anything to... Uh, you know, you don't want to try to explain too much because at a certain point, it, it it's counterintuitive to the movie. Like, you've got a funny premise. It is a funny premise. Obviously, I think it's a funny premise because I did it. But, you know, you don't want to go too into the explanation that, you know, it, it starts to be like, come on, man, we get, we're not, we don't care, right? Like, you don't really care about the explanation if you're moving forward with the funny. So I hope it's funny. It feels like girl funny because she keeps talking about getting laid, which could end up backfiring because it, if it'll feel like Amy Schumer's in the damn movie. But maybe if it's not that that kind of humor for the whole damn movie, you can make it work. So uh, Mafia Mama is the name of the movie in 2022. So this has got to come out this month. The clock's ticking. I suspect that it's already out uh, when this dropped. Five days ago from Bleecker Street. Yeah, I'm going to guess it's probably like the other one. 
already on demand somewhere. And that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Thanks for coming out to Barney Loves Books and Cedar Rose Vineyards today. And hope to see you at Kings Road Brewery in Haddonfield on Wednesday from 6 to 8. Uh, and hope to see you at the live stream tomorrow at 7. We'll see you.